Warning! Netizens boycott Harry's memoirs. Shocking statement from publisher. Don't think that the fact that Harry's memoir isn't on the Penguin Random House list means it's been delayed. Recently, Trans World spokesman Penguin Random House said, We do not include every book on the list. Harry's memoir will still be published as planned. Penguin Random House's shocking announcement has made many people think that Harry and the publishers are planning a surprise for the readers. This will cause the royal family to be blown away by those unconfirmed stories. If the memoir is still published as planned, will the Queen get hold of the final sketch? Prince Harry and the Queen have made an agreement that he must give the final sketch to her to confirm the royal stories. The Queen has said in July 2021, following the statement about Harry's memoirs, Every person's recollection, from time to time, will be different. If Harry's memoir is published, I must attest to it. However, sources say Harry has repeatedly turned down calls from the Queen to avoid questioning from her. It is rumored that Harry and Meghan have deliberately spread fake rumors about delaying the publication of the memoir to distract the royal family. This is an infamous plot of Harry and Meghan, according to the experts. Amid this turmoil, Express.co.uk recently reassured royal fans with a small survey. They polled people's interest in Harry's memoirs. The result of the survey reduced the royal crisis in half. They regained their confidence quickly to face Harry and Meghan. Express.co.uk asked readers, do you think Harry should cancel this book? Statistics show that most people think that Harry should destroy the memoir because no one cares what he writes in it. One person said, We're fed up with Harry and Meghan's stories. They are not believable. I'm sure 90% of the stories were exaggerated to increase their surrealism. Another said, Why should we care about it? The stories between the couple and the royal family have been exposed in the media. I often see their agreement in the newspapers. Although Harry writes whatever, his aim is to lash out at the royal family. Prince Harry and Meghan are horribly disgraced in the UK. They were horribly outcast by the people after their royal burning interview in March of 2021. They were seen as notorious traitors to the royal family. The British crowd even gave Harry and Meghan furious boosts in front of the St. Paul's. Experts warned the couple about their popularity in the UK and the US. Experts said that Harry and Meghan's popularity has plummeted in the recent months. Their credibility is at an alarming rate in both the UK and the US. Meghan Markle, who is releasing a new podcast episode this summer, is also horribly ostracized in the UK. Earlier this year, experts.co.uk also conducted a survey on the level of public interest in Meghan's works. The results are also a highlight of the media. Express has revealed that most people show no interest in Meghan's products. Only 2% of the people say yes and 98% say no. One person commented, It's so boring. She always plays dramas to get attention. I have to say to her PR team is really poor. I don't want to listen to it in general. Another said, For the past one year, we have been so familiar with Harry and Meghan's scandals. They used to be the most favored royal couple, but now they are a couple, infamous traitors. I mean, who cares about them? I think that the podcast would be a flop. Experts also warn of their career slump. Recently, Harry and Meghan have repeatedly faced rejection. The Duchess's animated film project, Pearl, was thrown in the trash last month when Netflix decided to clean up its inventory of projects. Megan and the staff frantically searched for sponsors to continue it, but failed. Recently, a source revealed that Harry and Meghan are also considered incompetent in the field of content production. 
The couple had a successful New York visit last September and were filmed behind the scenes by Netflix to document the pilot project. However, this trailer was brutally removed shortly after. Commentator Neil Sean recently said, Obviously, they said that they were filming something for Netflix, but it's been almost a year since the New York behind-the-scenes scene hasn't aired. It's been canceled, I'm sure, as such. However, in the current context, no matter how many works Harry and Meghan release, it is considered a failure. Experts advise that Harry and Meghan should find a way to cement their popularity before focusing on their careers. They go against this method. They will receive a painful ending when they see it, a mess in Hollywood. Do you think Harry and Meghan will heed the advice of the experts? Some people believe that Prince Harry and Meghan won't listen to anyone's teachings on life. They made their own choices. The couple upholds privacy and no one knows what in the world they are plotting. Despite the negative stereotypes about their work, Meghan and Harry are said to have persevered to release them. However, although Harry has completed his book, it is still waiting for approval from the Penguin Random House. It is said that Penguin Random House initially wanted to get rid of the memoir and asked Prince Harry to write another book about his feelings when he was rejected by the royal family. Subsequent negotiations, however, were not disclosed. Many believe that Harry and the publishers made another additional commitment to the book. Since the Queen's Platinum Ceremony, Harry and Meghan seem to have received more media attention. Media outlets have sought to approach the couple for royal documents. They want to know better if the royal family really snubbed Harry and Meghan. Many sources believe that Harry and Meghan know more about this comeback. They retreated to the backstage to make room for the Queen. Their image is so horribly blurred that many people think that they were not there. Harry and Meghan attended only one public event of the royal family. Most of them spent time at the Frogmore Cottage. Harry and Meghan are also said to not socialize with other members of the royal family. They did not go to the royal banquets, but ate meals together at the Frogmore Cottage. Many say that the royal family is isolating them. Others say that Harry and Meghan are trying not to disrupt the media. What do you think about these two opposing opinions? Let us know your thoughts below in the comments section. Don't forget to state your predictions about Harry's memoirs. Thank you for following our newsletter and we will see you again in the next videos. See ya!